Hey, what's up guys? Memo CNS Drywall. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the... Let me turn this bad boy around. The Graco RTX 1400 SI. That's the one without the smart start. Uh, yeah, so I just used it to shoot this house. I'll do a quick walkthrough. We went with a medium orange peel. A medium light orange peel. Uh, you can see we're still cleaning up, but the upstairs is done. So let's go up there so you can see what what it looks like dry. Upstairs aired out already. The guys scraped, scraped and swept everything. Yeah, so this is a regular two bed, let's see, three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a garage. And uh, you can spray it. Uh, let me see. We sprayed it in about, I still got the garage left, but you could spray it in about three to four hours fast. Uh, there was a, you could actually go faster if everything's pre-mixed and you're good to go, everything's masked, but Yeah, three, four hours, little to no effort I'll get some action shots in the garage, but uh, Yeah, if you're looking for a how-to video, how to use it, I'll put the link in the I'll add the link in the description, I have a how-to video if uh, it's your first time using that rig, but As long as you get the consistency right, this bad boy just runs, it's like the little engine that could uh, yeah, I use The older one is the one I would use mainly for majority of the houses just because it's light It's easy to carry and you don't need a big generator to run it uh, But yeah, let, let's uh, do some action shots and then I'll do a uh, full recommendations at then Aloha So for every for areas like out here where it's gonna be super windy We can't really mask all that off. So we just mask off what we can like the guys are doing here and then we made this jumble shield we took two paint shields at home depot joined them in the middle and then added uh paper so when i spray for example when i'm gonna spray this corner right here this is 100 percent mass off we don't have to mess this area off because all they're gonna do is right there Boom, that way no harm, no foul, nothing gets dirty. And then they just follow me. One apprentice just follows me. I finish up. So that way we save time on masking stuff off. And it's not gonna drive me crazy that when I'm spraying, the wind kicks it up and it ruins the finish. So we just started doing this about two, three houses ago. But so far it's worked out great. Anyways, let's get to it.
Wow. And nice and clean. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, so in conclusion, that uh, sprayer is super good. If you are just spraying all your houses with a hopper, I strongly recommend you upgrade to this particular sprayer, mainly because it's light, it's cheap. Uh, it's, I think it's like 18 or 22, but uh, it's cheap compared to all the other rigs that are out there. And you can spray houses like I mentioned in the video previously. Uh, we spray pretty much, I want to say 90% of our homes with that, that size rig. Um, I just recently bought that one. Uh, I have the older model, which is a RTX 1250, pretty much identical. Uh, total workhorse, the RTX fit, uh, 1250 has lasted me about, I want to say maybe six, seven years. All I've had to do is change the pump. So th it lasts and Graco, um, Graco super, super good with their warranty and repairs and all that. And this one doesn't have the smart start. The junk thing about all the new rigs that are Graco, they have that smart start system that makes it a little bit more temperamental when you have a power variation or a surge in power, it tends to fry the internal components and you gotta send it. Uh, yeah, I, I had a, a whole back and forth when I first got the, the 2500. Uh, that one is just sitting sitting there. I hardly use it. I prefer the smaller one. But anyways, yeah, if you're thinking about getting one, uh, totally worth the investment. Um, it lets you rest a lot more. You don't have to carry all the weight on your person, on your shoulder with the hopper. All it is is that light hose. And especially if you're doing orange peel, light orange peel, you can't go wrong. If you're doing super heavy texture, it's going to go a little slower. But uh, the thinner you go with this with this particular machine, the faster it will shoot out. Um, if you go super thin, it almost shoots out a little bit too fast. So you got to dial the knob back. It has a material flow gauge and everything. But anyways, hope you liked it. Aloha.